Hey, all right, everybody, how is it going? Now, I was watching a video by the Electric Viking earlier, and it was about, well, I got the article by here, and it says, Chinese battery giant CATL says it's successfully flown a four-ton plane using its ultra-high density condensed batteries. Now, these batteries, uh, it says by you a little bit further down, it says they have an incredible 500 watt hours per kilogram um, and he, for some for some reason in this article they've put a reference to a typical lead acid battery <laughs> I don't know why that's in there but it says a typical lead acid battery can have upwards of 50 watt hours per kilogram and it says some of the batteries used in Tesla have around 265 watt hours per kilogram. Um, there's all different types of batteries going in Teslas. I don't know what one they're actually picking, but they're I'm not a battery expert. Somebody in the comments section can tell me, because um, I think they might have ones a little bit high, higher than that, a little bit lower. Um, but these batteries, they're saying, are 500 watt hours per kilogram. Now, I was watching the electric Viking, like I said, and sometimes he gets a bit confused and I, I, I'm the same, I get confused because sometimes, you know, what hours, kilograms, blah, 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 it all gets a little bit confusing. Um, and what he said was, he said something like, um, if you put a 30 kilowatt hour battery in a car from these batteries, you get twice the range. No, you won't. <laughs> what, he, what he meant to say was, he was saying a bit wrong, what he meant was, uh, the size of a 30 kilowatt hour battery. That's what he was trying to, that's what he meant to say. He meant to say that the footprint and the weight of a 30 kilowatt hour battery, but it'll have 60 kilowatt hours of usable energy. Am I getting that right? <laughs> so basically what he was trying to say was that let's just, just use Tesla for an example. And they got, say they had a 60 kilowatt hour battery uh, if they used one of these, which is 500 watt hours per kilogram, it'd almost be half the weight. It'd still be 60 kilowatt hour battery, but it only weigh half as much. And what he was trying to say then is that uh, a Tesla Model 3 is equivalent in weight to a BMW 3 Series. It is about the same weight, but if you half the battery size uh, uh, in weight, it'd lose loads and loads. It shed loads of weight and it'd be much, much lighter than a Tesla uh, BMW Model 3. So then that stupid argument that keeps popping up about electric cars are heavy would disappear because by then, if you're using, if you're using 500 watt hour per kilogram, but I can't see, I, even I'm getting confused. <laughs> 500 watt hours per kilogram batteries if you use them in a car and the battery was half the weight then all electric cars would be lighter than petrol or diesel cars so that's and that might be another argument uh that would be cast aside um so i now i expect these these type of things like these batteries and the technology and the way things are moving forward with batteries to end up in cars eventually batteries look you blink and then this new battery technology comes along but anyway that was my waffle about that i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> um but it is interesting because uh you know i haven't looked at batteries for about a month i look again and there's been loads of stuff in the last month there's loads of stuff coming up batteries are getting safer they're getting more energy dense they begin lighter they're getting cheaper i mean and Cheaper, more energy energy dense batteries means cheaper electric vehicles that weigh less. It's a win win, you know. And it, you know, it, then the people, the anti EVs, <laughs> who say, oh, they're heavy, oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, that's another one of the things that they can't say anymore. Anyway, what was I looking at? Also, right. Bit of a bit of a waffle. It's gonna what is this video is gonna waffle on, okay? Now, I was looking at Auto Car and it said first look at the let me get rid of these cookies. Uh, right, first look at reborn Ford Capri ahead of imminent imminent reveal. 
it's a, it's a word imminent. It's like it's going to happen like quick, isn't it? Straight away. Um, so Ford, Ford has released the first preview image of his upcoming electric coupe SUV. Now they say first image. They got a by here. They got a picture of a front light and a picture of a back light. <laughs> um, so. Uh, and the back lights look nice. They look like they got two little smiles on them, and the front lights just look like any other light. They look like a bit like a Porsche light, uh, uh, not a porch light. A por ah, sorry, Porsche. I, I said porch light. Porsche. <laughs> I get, oh, I get confused myself now. I meant to say Porsche light. Okay, I say Porsche. I'm common. I say Porsche. I don't say Porsche. Um, so all you can see is a picture of the lights. Now, the re why am I talking about the Ford Capri coming up? Now, a couple of months ago, again, I always got to go back a couple of months, and all the anti-EV people, and especially the people who do videos as well, who talk a load of old ghoulies, honestly, they talk so much ghoulies just to get the spawn doolies <laughs> from the avenue, from the YouTubes, right? So, talking ghoulies on YouTube gets you money, right? I should talk a bit more ghoulies, but there we go. Um, so, what was I saying? I, I lost my train of thought now. What I'm trying to say is that a few months ago, it was articles in the, in the mainstream media, all the usual suspects were going, uh, nobody's investing in EVs anymore. But for some reason, Nobody's invested in EVs, but I keep seeing all these new EVs popping up all the time. So Ford had a, is it a Ford Explorer a while back? They got the Ford Capri coming out soon. And they got, and they got another article new. Um, what's this one? Let me, let, me, let me stick on Ford a minute. It was another one here uh, from, what's this? Autosport. And the headline is, oh, there's more cookies, all these cookies. I never lose weight with all these cookies. Right. Uh, Ford's latest electric demonstrator triumphed at Pike's Peak with Romain Dumas after an early glitch forced him an unplanned, unplanned reboot. So it looks like Ford have chucked some money into trying to win a Pike's Peak hill climb, spending more money on EVs. Right, so there's that story as well. Um, I don't know, how well did they do? They were using an adapted Ford F-150 Lightning Super Truck as a demonstrator. So it must have been in a, a certain uh, group of cars. Uh, the time was 8 minutes and 53 seconds, uh, which felt slightly short of the blah, 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 Ford Supervan 4.2. Uh, anyway, another story. I don't want to blab on too much because it will get a bit long by her. Uh, Ford... In Europe, nine all-electric vehicles by 2024, says by here. So this story is saying Ford EV plans. So there was a story saying that Ford wasn't investing in EVs anymore. But everything I'm seeing at the moment is counteracting this non-investment into EVs. Uh, the Ford's new Explorer EV is just the start uh, the designer's mission is to be less boring. A Puma EV confirmed. And then an EV from Ford. So, look, look. These articles where they say Ford's not going to invest in EVs anymore is definitely a load of old ghoulies. It is, because... Uh, what's it say by here? I think it's something about... Uh, I've seen that they plan to... They plan to get all the vehicles by 2030 to be some form of electrification or something like that. So this is another story here, but it says Ford, Ford EV's plan, plans, time to bring some swagger. Now, uh, I don't know what that means, <laughs> uh, but it says five years ago, Ford asked his customers what they thought of the company's products. Uh, were they good value, v reliable, boring, recalls Amco Leenart, Ford of Europe's design director. He said the sea of grey was not given the excitement people expected. But this is another story uh, with a focus set to go to... Uh, what's this saying by you? The car lineup will be increasingly... I know I'm waffling, so you've got to try and decipher my waffle, right? 
where it says the remaining car lineup will be increasingly electric and electrified and electric only in Europe from 2035. That's because of the ban, isn't it? Um, so they are investing more money. Right, let's go back to the other thing I was going to look at, which was, now you've probably all heard of this, haven't you? Um, remember now, nobody's investing in EVs anymore. Volkswagen is chucking Rivian five billion quid. <laughs> have some of that, have some of that, mate. Have some, f look, we're not investing in EVs, but I'll just push that five million quid in a brown envelope under the door. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> uh, so it says the Volkswagen Group and US electric vehicle startup Rivian have announced a joint venture agreement to share technology. Now, I was reading about this, and I think it's something to do with the um, the software, because Volkswagen software is a bit meh, uh, whereas Rivian's uh, software is a bit hey hey. So um, I think it's to do with that, and they, they, they say, let, let me read it. Instead of just making it up, let me read it instead. Under the deal, Volkswagen will, Volkswagen will commit to invest a total of five billion dollars, or three point nine billion pounds with Rivian to gain access to the US firm's advanced electric vehicle platform tech. So it is tech, so it's tech, okay? Uh, Rivian's integrated vehicle technology as seen in the R1S and EDV, electric Devel delivery vehicle. That's hard for me to say. <laughs> electric delivery, I can't say it. <laughs> electric delivery vehicle is at the forefront of the industry at the moment and Volkswagen will quickly look to le le leverage it on its existing group products. Uh, so it looks like they're not chucking all the money at them straight away. So the brown envelope is not a massive one. Uh, it looks like they, over a couple of years they're going to chuck them some money and get some of the, their knowledge Rivian and bang it in the old Volkswagen cars. Because like I said, the, the sort of software in Volkswagen cars isn't the best you can argue in the comment section if i'm talking a load of old ghoulies um but well, from what i'm heard it works but it's not the best so there we go that's my waffle about electric cars now like i said if i go back to the first story battery technology is always changing and china is at the forefront of battery technology they've put all their eggs in battery technology and it seems to be, you know, the, the, the fruits of their work is, is coming all together because the battery technology coming out of China is incredible. You could even say it's a game changer. I don't like using that word. <laughs> uh, so there we go. That's my waffle. A couple of stories. If you did like my videos, go on, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hi. Oh,